Gabriel. Gabriel, wake up. Ow, my head. Oh, it's about time. I've been trying to wake you up for hours. There's no time to lose. I had another dream. It wasn't a dream, believe me. Now come on, get dressed. Wait a minute. I'm starting to remember. Something about Malia. She's the head priestess of the Voodoo Cartel. They're responsible for the murders. They've been doing it for years. Malia? Last night. She was the leopard. Like in my dreams, Grace. I know. Those dreams were a warning. Now come on, get dressed. But last night, Malia changed. She became... someone, something else. And then I blacked out, I think. How did I get home? I followed you last night. I knew you were gonna try to sneak into a ceremony. Lucky for you that I did. If you'd been left at that circle last night, I don't know what she would have done to you. You're wrong. Molly wouldn't hurt me. What about Tetalo? Tetalo. They were chanting that last night. That's the name from Gunther's journal, the woman who took the talisman. Yes, Gabriel, it's your destiny you're facing. You can't just blunder your way through this or you'll end up dead. You have to call your great uncle in Germany. He knows more about this than we do. Okay, I'll call him. But Malia isn't responsible for those things, Grace. It's that spirit, that Loa. It's Tetalo. Yeah, possession is convenient that way. Call Wolfgang, Gabriel. I'll be in the shop. This is Gabriel Knight. Can I speak to Wolfgang, please? Yeah, ja, Herr Knight. Ein Moment, bitte. Gabriel, it's so good to hear your voice. I had such a dream last night. There's a good reason for that, Uncle Wolfgang. We need to talk. Gabriel fills in Wolfgang on the events of the previous evening. It's even worse than I thought. We have to talk about what I should do. Do you know anything about black voodoo? My library contains many books on the occult and religions, and I have read about some particularly evil voodoo cults. But you, at this point, have more direct experience than I. What can you tell me about Schottenjägers? Of course, I sometimes forget how little you know of the family, Gabriel. I never understood how Heinz could allow his sons to remain ignorant. But now is not the time for that discussion. Schattenjäger is really two words in English, Gabriel. Schatten means shadow, and Jäger means hunter. Shadow hunter? Yes, shadow hunter. The Ritters have been Schattenjägers for many centuries. No one is sure when it began or how, but we have records of ancestors as early as the 13th century fulfilling this role. Some believe that the role was given us when... Ah, but such fantasies cannot be of use to you at the moment, Gabriel. Most people are completely blind to the fact that evil does exist. Shadows of darkness, spirits, vampires, witches, demons, these things are real. It is to their advantage that the world has become so scientific, so cynical. But we know they exist, Gabriel, and we hunt them. How do we hunt them? And why? Why? Because it is our duty. As for how, that is something you will have to learn. But it's not easily explained over the phone.
Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? No, I'm afraid not. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I only know what you have told me. They seem to be very similar to the killings in Gunther's journal. Tell me about Tetelo. Well, from your description of the ritual last night, I'd say that Gunther's mistress, Tetelo, is now the primary loa for the Getty tribe. It seems she still controls them by possessing her female descendants and speaking through them. You remember in Gunther's journal, he said that Tetelo was possessed by her father's loa during the killings in Charleston. This sounds similar, but Tetelo has obviously become a much more powerful Lova than her father ever was. Probably because of the added power of the talisman. Is there anything else you can tell me about Tetelo? I believe she truly loved Gunther. After all, she was raised to be her father's daughter. The religion was not a choice she made, but a duty she endured. How can she be blamed for that? The spirit that she has become, that is a different matter. It is utterly evil. I am certain that the lower Tetelo bears little resemblance to the woman she was before the burning in Charleston. She was once a beautiful and intelligent woman, and she probably did not deserve Gunther's betrayal. But the Tetelo we fight now is more akin to her tribe's dark gods than to anything human in nature. Let's talk about the talisman. I myself have only seen it in old sketches and paintings, and in my dreams. It was in the family for centuries before Tetelo took it. It is believed to be as old as the role of Schottenjäger itself. The talisman has genuine power. I don't know how or why, but it is so. The Schottenjäger swore to use the power for good, never for evil, for defense, not offense. We've been searching for the talisman for years. It's a terrible thing to know that something powerful that was entrusted to us is in the wrong hands. With the talisman, Tetelo has all the power and we none. The only possible way to fight her is to regain the talisman. Then we will at least be on more equal footing. How can we regain the talisman? The talisman is probably buried with Tetelo's remains. That's what gives her Loa so much power. To find the talisman, we must find her remains. How would we find Tetelo's remains? Ah, we have pondered that question a long time, we Ritters. There are two probabilities. The first is that her remains are with the tribe in New Orleans. The other is that the remains were returned to a sacred place near the tribe's original homeland. We've tried to locate Tetelo's African homeland, but Gunther says so little in his journal about her tribe. And slaving records are practically non-existent. As for the other idea, we had no clue that Tetelo's people were in New Orleans until now. How would we find Tetelo's remains again? We must locate the tribe's original African homeland. Her remains might be there, or they might be in New Orleans, buried among her descendants. Let's discuss the possible African homeland. All right. Have you learned anything that might help us locate it? I spoke with the Professor Hartridge. Unfortunately for him. He thinks the tribe's name was Agri, and that they live near the Fawn tribe in what's now called the People's Republic of Benin. This is incredible, Gabriel. I must go research this new information in my library right now. Wait, what should I do? Stay low. If you get a chance, you might look into the possibility that Tetelo's remains are somewhere in New Orleans. But don't try to broach their private areas without my assistance, Gabriel. You will make a fine shot in Jaeger, but only if you are not dead. 
Um, sure. I'll wait. Goodbye, Zen Gabriel. And remember, if you need a place of safety, come to Schloss Ritter. Times dated June 24th, 1993. There's nothing about the voodoo murder case in the paper today. Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit under the Life is Stranger Than Fiction column. Apparently, there were reports of ghosts in the Bayou St. John last night. Various people called the newspaper with stories about hearing strange noises and seeing weird lights over the swamp. Some folks claim it's a ghost of Marie Laveau. The paper relates it to similar delusions that crop up every Halloween. Gabriel knows better. Gabriel's horoscope today reads, Wise is the warrior who knows when to fight and when to get the hell out of Dodge. God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy. Gabriel hears the faint sound of breaking glass. Damn, you'd think there'd be a light. I think I know what happened to the men in the family now. Huh. Some of these look loose. Hey! One of the drawers popped open. Mosley. I'll drop my flashlight. Huh? Ouch. On oh, my head. What the hell was that? Mosley's body is gone. Perhaps Gabriel should pick it up first. Gabriel opens the wallet and finds some ID belonging to Mosley and an American's repressed card.
Where have you been? I was worried about you. For good reason, apparently. What happened? Do you need a doctor? Nothing you want to know about, and no, you're some aspirin. Gabriel, this is nuts. You have to get out of New Orleans. No kidding. Well, listen, Wolfgang called while you were out. He said, and I quote, Tell Gabriel that I found what I was looking for. It's time for me to do my duty. Schloss Ritter is his now. Now call me crazy, but I don't think that's good news. Not for Uncle Wolfie, no. What are you going to do? If I figure it out, I'll let you know. I have a number for a travel agent on that phone book page if I need to call them. Hello, see the World Travel Agency. How may I help you? How much for a trip to Rittersburg, Germany? Rittersburg, Germany? Hold on, let me look that up. I can fly you into Munich. That's the closest airport to Rittersburg. You can rent a car from there or take the train. Let's see, the best price I can see for the flight is $1,400. What would you like to do? Charge it to my Americans repressed. Yes, sir. And your name was? Mosley. Feeling a little guilty, Gabriel gives the travel agent Mosley's card number and is informed that he can pick up his tickets at the Norlands International Airport. Gabriel picks up his tickets at the airport and boards a plane for Munich. Hello, my name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Herr Knight? Oh, kommen Sie bitte herein. I mean, come in please, Herr Knight. I was not expecting you. Has Wolfgang sent you here? Uncle Wolfgang? No, I came to see him. Isn't he here? No, he is gone. I'm sorry. You came all this way. No, oh, great. That's all I need. Herr Knight. Wolfgang told me all about you and gave me instructions for you to feel welcome here. Please, this is your home. You are a Ritter, no? I'm just doing some work. I will continue and you may make yourself comfortable. If there's anything you need, please ask me. You may use Wolfgang's bedroom. It is at the top of the stairs. Thank you, miss. You may call me Gerda, Herr Knight. It's locked. The only way to open that door is with the right key. Gabriel takes the scissors.
three panels hang from each side of the chapel. Gabriel can't determine what their purpose might be. I named my shop after you. You've always fascinated me. I just never knew why until now. Three panels hang from... Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. Tell me what you know about Schattenjägers. As Wolfgang may have told you, Schattenjäger means shadow hunter. The Ritter family have always been Schattenjäger. It is a kind of priesthood, though not as restrictive as most. Tell me something about the Ritter family. I can tell you what they say in the village. What I heard when I was small. To the villagers, the Ritters are a little, how do you say, tragic, to be pitied. They say that the Ritters were chosen by God to fight evil, but something happened, one of them was cursed, and so the Ritters lost the way. They struggle still, but like a lame dog, you see, without the power or magic they once had. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter has stood for many centuries. No one knows how long. It was once the pride of Bavaria, but now it is in disrepair. Wolfgang received offers to open the castle for tourists. He has resisted, though, even though the castle is in desperate need of repairs. To him, this ground is sacred. What can you tell me about voodoo? Wolfgang is the only one who would know about that. Tell me something about yourself. I was born in Rittersberg, the village below the castle. Tell me about Wolfgang. What would you like to know? Where do you think Wolfgang went? I don't know, but I have a feeling he has gone off to be Schattenjäger again. He is too old for such chasing around. His heart is very weak. He has not left this castle for five years, and now this? Do you know when he'll be back? I only pray he will be back. Before he left, he said Schloss Ritter now belongs to Gabriel. It worried me so to hear him say that. I'm afraid Wolfgang knew he would never return. Wolfgang is a truly wise and good man, the best I have ever known. But his life has been so full of disappointments. What kind of disappointments? His only son died in infancy, so there was no one to carry on the family line. And the family's financial troubles have been hard on him. Wolfgang wanted to do so much for the world, but it was all he could do to just hold on to Schloss Ritter. He has not left his mark as he wished to. What is your relationship with Wolfgang? Herr Knight, my relationship with your uncle is really none of your business. You're right, Gerda. I apologize. Forget I asked. Just tell me anything. Wolfgang has dedicated his entire life to the role of Schattenjäger. Can you show me Wolfgang's library? How do you know about his library? When we talked on the phone, he said he was going to do some research in his library. I thought maybe if I saw what he was researching... Ah, yeah! A good idea, Herr Knight. But I'm afraid I cannot show you the library. You see, I have never been in it. Only a Schattenjäger can enter the library. I see. Oh, nothing. Never mind. As you like, Herr Knight. What can you tell me about those wall panels in the chapel? The hangings. They describe the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Tell me about the Schattenjäger initiation ceremony. Each young man of the Ritterline must go through the ceremony when he dedicates himself to be a Schattenjäger. 
But what does the ceremony do? I do not know, Herr Knight. The only people present are the old Schattenjäger and the new. But I think it must be similar to a priest's ordination or a wedding. A ceremony of intent and oath. Mm, yeah. Is there a problem, Herr Knight? You said wedding. I'm okay now. This scroll looks interesting. I don't have to right now. Even if I had to, I wouldn't. Gabriel takes the chamber pot. The portal says, Nor dare Rhine's darf passieren. Diesen Hertz is Rhine wie Glas. Diesen Seele Rhine wie Feuer. Schreitet heuer Dirk's Portal. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. There are some words over the locked door in Wolfgang's bedroom. What do they mean? Ah, yes. Wolfgang had me translate it as part of my English lessons. In English it means... Only the purest here may pass. He whose heart is pure as glass. He whose soul is pure as fire. Through this portal passes higher. Great, thanks. Putting water in my pockets is really going to give people the wrong impression about me. Thinking of the first chapel panel, Gabriel washes his hands in the water. Thinking of the second chapel panel, Gabriel cuts his hair. I hate this. There. That's plenty. Is that a shaker of salt? Yeah. Salt. Mind if I take it? No. Thanks. Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel puts the chamber pot on the altar. Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel pours the contents of the salt shaker into the chamber pot. The third panel shows a chalice on a table with ocean waves in the background. The first panel shows hands and water. The second panel shows hair and a knife.
The sixth panel shows a scroll. The fifth panel shows someone kneeling. The fourth panel shows a knife and a few drops of blood. Thinking of the fourth panel, Gabriel holds his arm over the chamber pot and nicks it with the dagger. Oh, oops. Nearly hit an artery. Thinking of the fifth panel, Gabriel kneels at the altar. Thinking of the sixth panel, Gabriel reads the scroll. Saint George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night. Upon my blood I call thee now. Purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road. Thy sword I take up for mine own. It worked. Something's happening. Oh, excuse me. I was just vacuuming. I did not know you were in here. No, that's all right. I've done about all I can do in here anyway. I give up. You look tired, Herr Knight. Why don't you go to bed? Sure, why not? I will clean everything up. You need not worry. I can't believe I cut my hair for nothing. No problem. 